Let's balance the equation for the decomposition of C3H5, N3O9. We get carbon dioxide gas, nitrogen gas, oxygen gas, and water. That'd be a gas too. This would be hot. This is going to be an exothermic reaction. So the first thing that we want to do is count the atoms up. I've already done that. The only thing to be careful with, we have two oxygens here, two here, and then the one in the water. So that gives us a total of five oxygen atoms. So once we've counted the atoms up, we can try to start balancing this equation. When I see the five and the three and the three here and the nine as well, I'd like to get these to be even numbers. That's a good place to start for me. So I'm going to try that. Let's put a two here. Now I need to multiply all of these by two. So I think that'll make it easier to balance. We won't leave the nitrogen and oxygen until last because when we change the coefficients in front of these, it won't change the number of the other atoms like the carbons or hydrogens. So nitrogen and oxygen will do those last. So let's balance the carbon because we could put, we have six here, we could put a six in front of the carbon. We have one times six, that'll give us six of those. Now we do need to update the oxygens though. So I have six times two, that's 12 plus two plus the one here, that gives me a total of 15 oxygen atoms. So we're kind of close. Let's update the hydrogen next, because we have 10 here. If we put a five in front of the hydrogen, two times five, that would give us 10 of those. We do need to update the oxygens again. 12 plus two plus five, that's 17 oxygen atoms. Okay. We know we can fix the nitrogen pretty easily, just putting a three here. So it comes down to getting one more oxygen atom. And the way we can do that, we could multiply this by a fraction. One half times two, that would give us the one. And then we'd have 18 oxygen atoms and we'd be done. This equation is balanced. Some teachers don't like having a fractional coefficient. So you could multiply everything by two. And if you do that, you'll end up with these as your coefficients for the decomposition of C3H5N3O9. Either way, it's the correct ratio. Again, just some teachers like having whole numbers. That's how you balance the decomposition of C3H5N3O9. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.